I'm going to show you how to create a animated GIF using Adobe Photoshop CS4 and the Mac OS X preview application. So here's the image that I'm going to be working with. It's uh, the image of a leaf that has a darker uh, inner inside um, color. Um, and I'm just going to sort of make that darker inside color uh, glow. And uh, so first thing to do is to grab that image and put it into Photoshop. And uh, the first thing I always do is I uh, the background uh, of this image is locked because it's a JPEG. So I'll, I'll just sort of make a copy of that background so I can edit it um, if I need to. And then I'm going to uh, select using the magic wand uh, the area um, that I'm going to want to uh, make glow. And so in this particular case, the tolerance I have um, for this area is uh, 20. Um, so it'll sort of be pretty generic. So I'll just kind of click around here until I get a good um, section uh, without too much trouble. Just kind of want to make sure that it fills in. Uh, and I will continue to click here. All these areas. Yeah, this is kind of like the effect I was looking for. Make sure it fills it in nice. Okay, great. So this is kind of like the area that I, that I want uh, to be glowing. So now that it's selected, I'll uh, click my paintbrush tool and select sort of a dark color. Um, and from the color swatch uh, list, I'll just choose this dark green. And uh, then I'm going to create a new layer for that uh, particular uh, green to go into. And I'll shade it in. And again, I have a very large paintbrush, so one click pretty much did it. Um, now I'll create a, another layer. And this will be sort of like the, uh, the end of my sequence, which will be like the, the lighter green. So I'll choose this, this light green, and, and so that's how it's going to glow you know, when it reaches the end there. So, so now that I have my sort of start and end, I'm going to use this, this animation tool, which is, is a tab that shows up at the bottom of my Photoshop, which I think I turned on by going under view, um, animation right here. So if you're, uh, excuse me, not view, but window animation, if you turn that on that little check mark, then you'll get that as an option down below. So if you go into the animation timeline, I don't want to look at it in a, in a timeline view. I want to look at it in a frame by frame view. So I'll put in the frame by frame. And uh, here we have uh, our first frame, which is showing the lighter color. So I'll just turn off uh, that foreground color so that now that we have the darker color uh, showing. And I'll choose uh, no delay um, for that first frame. Then what I'll do is I'll create a copy of that by using this little sort of duplication uh, button here. And so with the copy, I'm going to turn on uh, the lighter layer and turn off the darker layer. So now I have both start and end frames uh, of this leaf. And uh, I'll then highlight both of them and then use this tween tool uh, to sort of fill in uh, the uh, layers in between. And so uh, this is going to be adding five frames. So I'll just click OK to that. And so then now I have my seven frames uh, that are sort of do this sort of glowing animation. And if I sort of repeat that forever, then it'll just keep going and going. Uh, has a nice little uh, effect. So I, I want the last frame to kind of stick for a little bit. So what I'll do is uh, I'll... Uh, so sort of create that last frame and, and duplicate that a few times to get that guy to, and then I'll have a, an even 10 frames. And so if now I, I go through this again, you know, those last few frames just kind of stay on for a little bit. It gives it the effect that I'm looking for. So great. So we have uh, all the layers. The next step is to then uh, export that uh, to a selection called render video. Now, under render video, you're going to want to choose the subfolder. Uh, in my case, this leaf animation uh, subfolder is what I'll go with. And uh, 
out of the two you know options uh, for for exporting, I'll, I choose image sequence, and uh, you know I'll start with the first sequence being uh, one, and then uh, you know all the way up until ten, right? Like like the frames that we have set here, and uh, the size I'm just going to go with NTSC DV, which is 720 by 480. That's pretty much it there. So then we'll click render, and then you'll see here that in that folder. It'll start to generate each one of those uh, frames. Um, and again, I did this in PNG, so these are going to be in uh, PNG formatted files. You can do it as JPEGs uh, or, or whatever format that makes most sense in your case. The, the end format will be an animated GIF, and, and the uh, preview uh, app within Mac OS X is going to help us with that. So it really doesn't matter what the intermediary uh, formats are. We'll just let that finish, um, and uh, the next step is is really going to be, you know, how do we uh, create the animation? And it's a little bit of a trick, um, something that I had to research, and that's why I wanted to record this video. Um, but uh, it has to do with the Alt or Option button on your Mac keyboard, and uh, inside of the Preview app, if you want to save a file as a GIF, um, you're going to need to hold down the the Option file or the Option menu uh, selection in order to be able to, uh, or the Option button in order for the menu selection for GIF to to be available. All right. Now that this thing is is done, I'll go back to um, you know the the first image, and I will uh, open it with preview. There we go. And um, once this is opened, bear with me because. Seems at the screen. All right, great. So here's our first image, and what we want to do is we want to then again using the the option key, we're going to want to save as. We're going to wait for that menu to pop up. Right, and so what we're going to do is again holding down the option key. We're going to choose GIF. So now that first uh, image is going to be saved in the GIF format. Um, and here it is. So now that, that that's been saved as GIF, next thing you want to do is you want to open your little thumbnails, uh, which is uh, in the upper left corner of your uh, preview window. And then you want to select uh, the rest of the uh, files in your sequence and bring them over and you want to hold them right on top of that first thumbnail. Not below it, not above it, but right on top of it. It's key that you do it right on top. And what that'll do is it'll create the sequence and you can tell that it's a sequence because the, uh, the numbers here are highlighted in blue. Otherwise what it'll show you is every single uh, file individually. So there we have our, our 10 uh, files in the sequence. And then the next thing is just to save it, you know, since it's already a GIF. Um, once that's done, uh, you can close out of that and then select that file within your, your finder window, you know, hit the space bar, and you should have your effect. So this is now an animated GIF that uh, you'd be able to send to anybody and we'll have your little animation.